Hey what is up guys my name is Poku and in this video let's learn how to create this fast cut edit b-roll sequence. I'm already inside Adobe Premiere Pro and you can use any other editing software if you want. So I already have the shots imported. These are the shots and I've shot each one of them with the camera on the tripod. So all of them are static shots. So let's see the first shot. In this shot all the vegetables and the maggie packet is placed on the surface and I'll be taking each one of these out of the frame one by one. Okay, so using this particular shot I'll be creating the initial sequence. So let's start. I'll be creating a new sequence and the settings will be 1080p 24fps. So I have my sequence over here I'll go to the shots double click on the first shot so first of all I'll be needing this blank surface and the vegetables will appear on the surface one by one so let's see where I have the blank surface okay so just after I remove this coriander leaf I have got the surface over here I'll mark the end point by pressing I I'll move a few frames forward and I'll press O to mark the out point I'll drag this video to my timeline and it's asking me if I want to change the sequence settings according to my footages which were taken on 4k but I want to keep the existing settings so I'll click here I'll zoom into the timeline by pressing the plus sign on my keyboard and since I saw this on 4k I'll have to go to the effects control and reduce the scale to 50% So now it will fit my 1080p sequence. So I move back to the shot. Now I need that part of this clip where only the coriander leaf is visible. So just after I take these chilies out of the frame, I'll mark the in point, move a few frames forward, and just before my hand appears, I'll just mark the out point and drag this clip over here. And again I'll have to reduce the scale to 50% or I can just right click here and just click on scale to frame size so right now I have this part I'll repeat the same process with the chilies so I'll go to that point of this clip where the chilies are visible over here I'll mark the in point move forward mark the out point and drag it here right click scale to frame size and this is what I get I'll repeat the same process with the other items so after repeating the same process with the other items and this is what we get okay now I need these items to be taken out of the frame one by one so I'll move to that point of time where I grab this packet of Maggie. Press I to mark the in point and take it out of the frame. Press O and drag the video to my timeline. Right click, scale to frame size. I'll repeat the same with the other items. So after repeating the same step with the other items, this is what I get. So we have already achieved the desired effect. The timings of the footage needs to be changed. We'll be working on that. So now let's move to the next clip. Let's play it back once. So just like the first clip, we'll make this tomato and the knife appear on the chopping board. So let's start. I'll take blank frame of this chopping board, drag it to the timeline, right click, scale to frame size. I just need a few frames so I can cut it over here. Now the knife will be appearing on it. So I'll move to that part where the knife appears, press I, move a few frames forward, press O, bring it here, 
scale to frame size and the knife appears and the same thing will be done with the tomato i o and it's done So now you have got the idea how this is to be done. So let's move to the chopping of the vegetables part. So I'll move to this point where I start chopping the tomato and just after one stroke of the knife, I'll press O. I'll drag it here. Scale to frame size. Repeat the same step with the onion. After repeating the same process with the other veggies, this is what you will get. Now I'll be editing that part where I'll be moving the chopped vegetables to smaller bowls. So let's start. So in this clip, I'm just pouring out the chopped coriander leaves into this bowl. So I just need a few frames where the coriander leaf drops from my hand to the bowl. So extract that part out. Drag it to the timeline. And repeat the same thing with the other vegetables. So after we edit the transferring of the chopped vegetables into the bowls, this is what we get. So we need to adjust the timing which we'll be doing later on. So the process to edit the remaining shots is exactly the same. If you see the shots, you'll understand how to do it. So in this shot, I'll be taking out each of these vegetables out of the frame one by one. And all you have to do is extract the frames where I just grab the ball and take it out of the frame. The next shot is turning the knob of the burner on and you just need to extract this part out where I just turned the knob. And for this shot you just need these few frames where the burner lights up. And for this clip I just saw the entire process of the cooking. And from this you need to extract out only the important parts for example pouring of the oil, pouring of the water, dropping the vegetables in. And all these important parts and for this final clip I just took out the Maggie out of the bowl little by little until the bowl gets empty let me show you how I edited this part I'll take a few frames of this bowl when the Maggie is full And after I remove a little bit of Maggie from the bowl, I'll just take another few frames. And again some more Maggie have been moved out. Take a few more frames from this portion and put it into the timeline. And keep repeating it until the Maggie bowl gets empty. And now if I play it back, it will look like this. So you got the idea how I made this Maggie disappear from the bowl. And after editing all these shots and adjusting the timing, this is what we'll get. So this is what we got after editing all the clips. Now we just need to work with the sound design. I already have a few sound clips downloaded and I'll be using from here for this particular edit. So I've decided to use the sound of this bell every time a item appears. So I'll be selecting 
this portion of this clip and I'll drag the audio and align it over here. Let's play it back and see. You just need to adjust the position. And I'll be using the same sound effect for the other items. And I want to use a different sound for the Maggie packet. So this is the sound I'll be using. Let's play it back and listen to it once. So this is the sound I'll be using for the Maggie packet. I have marked the in and out point for this audio and I'll drag it over here. And I don't want the audio to be played beyond this clip. So I'll just clip the audio over here. Let's play it back and listen to it once. So it's looking good. The volume of this clip is a bit high, so I'll reduce it. And now I need sound effects for this part. Let's see if I can use this sound. Mark the in and out point. Drag the audio over here. adjust the timing and I'll repeat the same sound effect for each of the items over here I want to use the same bell sound effect for this knife and the tomato so I'll just press down alt and drag this sound clip over here to copy it from this point to this point press down alt and drag it over here and this will be copied again let's play it back and see once now let's add some sound effects for this chopping of the vegetables i have a sound effect downloaded over here so there are so many sounds of chopping of vegetables in this particular clip so I added these sounds extracted from this particular clip and this is what it sounds like So after you add sound effects for each of the clips and adjust their timings You'll be getting a final result which will look something like this I hope you understood the basic concept behind these kind of videos and if you like this video please let me know by hitting that like button down there and also please consider subscribing to my channel i'll try to come up with more such contents in the future thank you so much have a nice day